Hey there, Lizzie with you. I wanted to show you how to do these little rosettes. And I am using cupcake holders, Christmas cupcake holders. And there's a couple I've already made. Yep, there we go. So Tina Steinboil and I gave me the little hearts seals and I thought that looked quite nice. This one I used a sticker and added a couple of sequins and this one I just had, I don't know, I had some hearts and smiles and just put them together. I think it's a Felicity Jane heart, don't know where the smile came from. Anyway, these are very simple and it's just something that I've got off YouTube, of course. Um, Except I think it's a combination. So you make a cut inside, cut the middle bit out in as much of a circle as you can manage. I find smaller scissors the best for this, but whatever. And I'm going to sit down. A little bit of the red glue because that's the best sort of glue along one edge and cut it off. I haven't got fingernails so I have to use tweezers to get the tape off and then just join it along there. Now, I haven't joined it quite far enough and it's a bit sticky and I don't like it being sticky, so I get some <laughs> talcum powder. Tips and Tricks 101 and just run it along the stickiness and that takes that away. And it's nice lavender talcum powder as well. After that, because the size of the cupcake holder would be dependent on the size of the circle you put on the back. So for this size, I use a two and a quarter inch circle and I just, ah, Here's some old cardstock that I've got hanging around. Just an odd bit of cardstock. Cut that out. Now, I, you also then cut a circle for the oops, for the front side. In this case, I've used a one and a quarter. So that's two and a quarter and one and a quarter. Uh, however, it just depends on what size you want it to be. And of course, the smaller the cupcake holder, the smaller circle, the punched out circle. I just sort of pinch it together, basically, that's it. And then I get my circle that I cut out that I can't find now, all of a sudden, ah, oh, here it is. Put a bit of, I use a bit of glue, art bitter, art glitter glue, but really any sort of glue that you want, just a little bit. And I just sort of squeeze it onto it, basically, pretty easy. Making sure that the cupcake goes over the edge of the of the circle so it doesn't have to be precise because as you can see that's yeah not even it doesn't matter as long as you've got it mostly in the middle because what I'm going to do then is using this as a guide I'm going to just trim carefully around the edges some people when they make that initial cut, cutting the middle out. Uh, then they actually refold the cupcake pan to get a more crisper accordion style thingy embellishment, but mm, I'm not too worried. So then when we turn it over, it's good, it's good. Now, the middle bit, down we go again. Get this little bit, put a bit of blue on it. And then of course, by that stage, you know where the center is, unless you're not very good at judging the center, which sometimes I'm not. Now for this one, I'm going to use some thread, which I've already, very fine gold thread, which I've already cut. A little piece of this, put it in the middle-ish. <laughs> should be in the middle but anyway it's not quite this time is it it's a bit hard it's really hard to not do not put your head in the middle over top 
and oops, get that out. Basically, line that around. Make sure the ends are stuck down pretty much. This is a fiddly bit. More fiddly than anything. And then because I'm going to use one of the these little hearts, which already have a sticky back, I, I, I just add a little bit more, just, just to be certain. Put it in the middle. And there we are. Voila. One little heart. One cute little cupcake holder. Holder. Accordion one done. So I hope that's helpful. And thank you for looking. <laughs> Cheers. Happy scrubbing. Bye now.